So this is what happens when you take socks out of your hair. I put them in last night and I sprayed my hair with water before I did it. And then this morning I took a shower, but I didn't get my hair wet and I let, so the steam could help it curl more. We'll see what happens. And it's been in since um, midnight or one o'clock last night. And it is almost 1030 this morning. And I just use my socks <laughs> that I wear all the time. <laughs> They're going to look a little kinky, but we'll see how it happens. It's a tradition to curl our hair every Sunday for Easter. Not every Sunday, every Easter Sunday. And <clears throat> normally I use a curling iron, but that's a lot. <laughs> and when you're doing other things on Easter morning, sometimes it's nice to have that extra time. <clears throat> so I decided to try this and see what happens. Now I've done this before, but it always turns out differently. <laughs> and so <laughs> let's see how it works today with the process I decided to go with. And there we go. <clears throat> you gotta try not to get it tangled up and try not to pull too hard at like the ends and stuff because then you pull your hair out and that's not good. So <clears throat> I gotta tell you, when we were little, my mom used to curl my hair and it was very exciting because we didn't do it very often. It was very rare that we did it. That's what made it so special. And that's why it was so special on Easter. Or like when we get our pictures taken, which we, I feel like would kind of do around Easter. I could be wrong. But we would always be scared too, you know. Not that she burned us all the time or anything. In fact, I'm not sure she ever burned us. I don't know. Maybe once. But... We would have to stand really still, which if anyone knows me, it is really, really hard for me to do. I am not one who stands still. <laughs> I'm always fidgeting or moving <clears throat> or talking <laughs> or singing or something. Anywho, when I got older, I started curling my hair myself and I made it a tradition to go ahead and curl it every Easter. Now, I might have missed an Easter or two, but I'm pretty sure I was pretty consistent because I have pictures from just about every year of curled hair for Easter. Well, at our old church, my dad used to go up for sunrise service and he would open up the church and he always sang a special song and he would go early to practice and I loved to go with him. One year... I did something really funny. So <clears throat> when I would go with dad to sunrise service, what we would do, my sister went sometimes too, is we would pack up our curling iron and stuff and we would be all ready to go except for our hair. And then we would curl it in the ladies' bathroom at the church since we went super early. I'm talking like five in the morning or something crazy like that. Um... So we had plenty of time to curl our hair. Well, one year, I was curling my hair in the ladies' bathroom at the church <clears throat> with my curling iron, and I smelled something burning. <laughs> and I thought, oh my gosh, am I burning my hair? And, and then this little box elder pup, <laughs> he falls off my curling iron, and he's smoking. <laughs> and I... I thought that was so funny. I was just like, oh my gosh. And what a terrible way to die. Goodness. But anyway, um, it was kind of funny because I didn't even know he was there. I don't know why he was there, where he came from, but he crawled onto my curling iron and that was not a good choice for him. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm really liking how it's turning out. 
We're just about done. See, it doesn't really take that many. And with as much hair as I have, you would think it would take more. But it's surprising how well socks work. My only problem is the curls don't stay in. They fall out after uh, maybe an hour or so, <laughs> which is sad. Um, and I've tried different hairsprays, but I haven't found one recently that works really good. The one my mom used to use on my hair worked really good, but I think she forgot what it was. But anyway. This is so cool. I'll see if she has any. There's also some gel you can put in your hair that helps it stay curved, but it's really messy. So I just really prefer not to do that. All right, last one. And then you kind of, when you're done, you take a pick or a comb and you just kind of fix the top, you know, because <laughs> it's kind of nutty. Or you can just like, and you can wear it however you want. Like you can do this. Or you can like pull it back, put something in the top, or whatever. Or put a flower in it. Just kind of pull it together, fluff it up. I don't like to <clears throat> brush it out or run my fingers to it too much through it because my hair does not hold curl very long. Um, however, when I put the socks in, if you pull it out right away, You'll already see a curl. It's crazy how well socks work. Um, but there you go. And if you have a good hairspray or something to hold it in place, you're good to go for at least an hour <laughs> in my case. But it's worth it because it's Easter and it's a special Sunday. So ta-da! Girls with socks.